Hello everyone, welcome to the AI practical series. Today we'll be doing in this session we'll be doing the iterative deaf first search. It is also called as iterative deepening deaf first search. So this is a uh, we can say a uh, modified version of DFS that is the deaf first search. Now what are the uh, in this particular session we'll I divide it into two parts. The first part will explain the working of the algorithm. The second part will uh, of course. Uh, the code expen the, the code execution as well as explanation so starting with the add some features of uh, this uh, iterative deepening depth first search so it is a combination of bfs as well as dfs so uh, in bfs we have some advantages and in dfs we have some advantage we combine the advantage of both this and uh, we make up this iterative deepening depth first search now in this uh, dfs it is a modified version of DFS as we know so in this case uh, the depth is incremented after every iteration we'll see in in the next slide and this is um, memory efficient one of the advantage as compared to BFS so BFS uh, takes more memory and this ID DFS it it takes less amount of memory as compared to BFS and of course both are complete now coming to this uh, we'll be using this search tree in our uh, python code also we'll, we'll construct this this is the search tree and we will see how we can make up this search tree in python and go for the search now how this idfs will work in this case first the depth limit is this one it will check this then we set the depth limit up to this so this will check one again two again and three then when we this is the when we increase the depth now if the no solution is found it increases the depth size to level 2 so it again checks for 1 again checks for 2 then goes for 4 then comes back to 2 then 5 then comes here then 6 then 7 then if no solution is found it increases the depth limit to the next level so it first searches for 1 then 2 then 4 then it comes back again goes for 9 then comes back again here so it comes to 5 then 10 then 11 then comes back here to 3 then 6 then 12 so it goes through the depth but here uh, this as it is a combination of bfs and dfs both so it increments the depth level after every iteration until the solution is found now in this is the particular python code we'll be using this is the python code i will explain this code after this so this is the python code we are using and this is the how we construct the search tree okay this is the connection this is the edge from like here it is 1 to 2 1 to 3 2 to 4 2 to 5 and so on so this is the search tree and when we run the run this particular code we our start node is 1 we start from 1 okay and our uh, goal is uh, to reach 9 okay so this is the start node and this is the end node so after executing this what we will have is it will return the path how it return the path so the path would be from 9 4 2 and 1 so it will return this particular path when we execute the code we can even change that uh, goal state okay we can change this goal state i've written here 9 you can change it to any other node so in case if the if we change it to 11 then the path return would be 11 then 5 then 2 and then finally 1 so this this is the path which is run to 1 2 5 11 but in our case it will be 1 2 4 and 9 so now let us first execute the code and then i will explain the code so we'll be using uh, google colab for executing this code i will just copy it i will just paste it on google colab now i'll just open up the google colab as you can see click here google colab and i've already copied the code okay so open colab we can even do it on python also we just cancel it out and on this code i will click here and uh, i've copied the code i'll just paste it here this is pasted so this is the required code i will share this code in the description section of the video the entire file so this is the required code and we are starting from as you can see start node is one and the end node is nine so when we run it we'll get the 
actual path from the start node 1 to the 9 and we already discussed what output we will be expecting for this with this so it is just running now so here is the output <coughs> 1 2 4 9 so this is the path from reaching from 1 to 9 so it returns this path so this is how this code is executed we can even make some change if we want we can change this end node to get another output to the goal state now we'll explain the code this line imports the default dict class from the collections module default dict is used here to create a dictionary with default values of lists for the graphs adjacency list here a class named graph is defined the constructor underscore underscore init underscore underscore initializes the class and creates an instance variable graph as a default dict that will store the graph's adjacency list. Each vertex will map to a list of its neighboring vertices. The add underscore edge method is used to add edges to the graph. It takes two vertices U and V and adds each vertex to the other's list of neighbors, simulating an undirected graph. The iterative underscore DFS method performs an iterative depth first search, DFS, from the start vertex to the end vertex. If the start and end vertices are the same, a list containing just the start vertex is returned as a trivial path. Visited is a set that will store the vertices that have been visited. Stack is a list that will store pairs of vertices and paths. Each pair contains the current vertex and the path taken to reach it. The loop iterates as long as there are elements in the stack. In each iteration, the last vertex and its corresponding path are popped from the stack. The current vertex is marked as visited. For each neighbor of the current vertex, if the neighbor hasn't been visited, the code checks if the neighbor is the end vertex. If it is, the complete path from start to end is returned. Otherwise, the neighbor is added to the stack with an extended path. If the loop completes without finding a path to the end vertex, it means that no path exists, so none is returned. This block is used for example usage, which was discussed by Professor Ismail. It creates a graph instance, adds edges to the graph, and then performs a search using the iterative underscore DFS method to find the shortest path between